Hey, this is Rachel from The Life Facilitator, and I thought I would do an update on my scrappy notebook. Um, this is from Hiba, and I'll link her in the comments, and I'll link this notebook too. I wanted to try something a little different for 2024 um, when it came to memory keeping, memory planning, scrapbooking, all of that. And so this has been an interesting challenge for me. Um, I'll just note that I have not been very consistent with it. Um, some of that has been, well, it's all me. Um, and that a lot of the inconsistency has been a choice um, of just not really feeling in, just not feeling into it. Um, and so when you're not into it, you shouldn't do it. Anyway, I am sort of getting back into it. So as I'm getting back into it, I thought I would share what I've done so far. Here's a look at our, the, um, uh, as I look at this, I realize it was such a mistake to put this pocket here because it clashes so much with this. And in fact, I wonder if I could just take it off. Oh my gosh, it bothers me so much. Anyway, um, made a little um, like monthly divider for January. I only did in January. I might do it again moving forward. I don't know. I do like this idea of like, breaking up the months um so because i've been it is a monthly format for me all right first spread is not even a full week it's actually only like four days of the week and um which is what i actually like about this format is there's no like there's no days of the week bossing me around saying like you have to be you have to use a certain amount of time on a spread. So some spreads are like four days. Some, I have a spread that's a whole month. Um, so it just kind of varies depending on um, my needs. This spread is one day and it's two pages, um, a, a trip kayaking with my husband. And I decided to just cover this with pattern paper and some like pocket cards and things. Um, this all happened in the same week um but as you can see like this is on the 11th and this is on the 13th and honestly could not care less um i, it, I wouldn't even need it to be in the same week um they just the spreads happen to go together pretty well so i put them together this was over a couple of days. We had some friends come visit. And um, so I did sort of a whole spread about our friends coming to visit. And I just love it. It's so cute. And um, yeah. This spread um, is our trip. Okay, so here's what I'm going to say. When it comes to trip memory keeping in this format, I struggle because I often have a lot of photos and I, while I absolutely could have done more than a two page spread and in the future, I probably will. Um, I did want to try to, it was only, we were only there for a few days. And so I really did want to get as much on the page as possible in this, for this trip. So I had taken my Instax camera and I had brought, so I took a lot of Instax photos and I did want to include them. Um, and then I have some more, I made a little pocket um, and I have like business cards from places we went to. And then a few, a few more photos that just like didn't really turn out great, but I didn't want to throw them out. And so those are all in there as well worst pocket I've ever made like it just it's not a great pocket I will I have to like look at it to see what is going okay yeah they're in there anyway um so while I love how this spread turned out it did take me a really long time and um I would caution trying to get a whole trip into a two-page spread in the future unless I make my photos much smaller which I don't really want to do all right, next spread is, and this is important. Um, actually, it's not important, but it just is what it is. This was the week of February 
9th to the 11th to the 14th. Good God. Um, this is March 30th. You know, I just, I had, I had gotten inspired to, based on these, this stamp set from Everyday Explorers, I had got, just wanted to like do the spread. So I like left, oh, right. I have this spread, which I never finished and I probably, I will finish it. I just, I don't know. The red is, mm, I have a hard time with red. Um, and these are two kind of separate things. Like this is Valentine's Day and sort of like a currently of like what we're up to. Honestly, now that I look at this, I should probably just do like February and okay, moving on. So there's a lot of time between this and this, and honestly, that's fine. I'm not worried about it. I had done a lot of small, I've done a lot of memory keeping for March because March is my birthday month in a much smaller, like everyday explorers mini book. So I'm not surprised that I don't have anything in here for that. It's in a separate place and it's fine. Um, did a little, again, like we're kind of all over the place, just a little one pager on sort of the change in the weather and being able to like journal and do coffee on the balcony, love that. Not that I can't do it most times, I just was doing it more in March. Have nothing on this page, might do it currently, obviously, because that's what my note is to myself. Um, this is literally where I picked up after having not touched this for like three months, um, was this spread about my birthday on March 15th and um, how we zoomed with some friends and watched the Eras movie. That was my birthday and I was more than excited about it. It was perfect. Um, and then I, on this side, again, just pattern paper and a pocket with um, the uh, detailed list of drinks that my husband put together for drink pairings for each era. Very cute. Um, and that's that spread. Uh, so we have a gap again, because I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do from here. Like I left a gap. It's fine. And then I just did this spread. This spread is basically the most important or like the highlighted, the highlights from the month of April. I really did not take very many photos in April. Um, I was pretty heavy into doing content things. Um, and so I just, I wasn't taking a lot of photos. I also, we also just honestly didn't do a ton in April. So the photos got forgotten, but we did do a few things and these were the things I wanted to highlight. So I did a month in review and this stamp set is from Leo Concar. And then I used some stamps from Everyday Explorers. I believe, I believe this is the Daily Details stamp set. And then just added a few photos. I have a little flip up because I have a photo that I love, but it is, um, the colors are like not coloring well with the rest of the spread. And so easy way to add a photo is just to make it hidden. So that's where I'm at with this um, scrappy notebook. I do love it. And I think my struggles with it are the photo sizes. I just haven't, I can't quite like get a handle on the sizes of photos, even though they're not that weird. They're not weird at, at all. Well, let me flip to the back. Um, the photo sizes are pretty n normal. It's like two by twos, three by three, you know, two by three and a half, but it, you could just do a two by two and two by three and, you know, have room for journaling. I think I'm just, um, because the pages are different each time, I get sort of in my head about printing the photos, like what sizes I want to do. So anyway, this is a me problem. So I am going to continue doing it. And um, the other thing I'm getting back to is prioritizing time in my week to actually collect my photos, 
put them in a photo collage, print them, and then add them into the notebook. All of that creates momentum, and once I've done that, I'm much more likely to finish a spread. So yeah, I hope this is interesting or helpful. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, leave them below, and I would love to answer them for you. Until my next video, bye!